Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Um, hope you're all well and had a good celebration this week. Um, so everything's back to normal in England now. We're all back to work, but I know you're all still on holiday for another week or so. So um, <clears throat> I've been asked to talk about countable and uncountable. Oh, hello are you, Happy New Year. Thanks for coming. Um, so, I've been asked to talk about countable and uncountable nouns today, uh, which can be a bit confusing because um, some nouns are countable and then they be uh, uncountable and then they become countable in different ways. So, we're going to have a look at that. Oh, hi, yeah, thanks for joining. Happy New Year. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go through through that. And any questions, or um, if I'm speaking too quickly or too quietly, just let me know and type up a message to tell me. I'm sorry my phone's a bit wobbly. I'm trying to charge it up and it doesn't quite reach so I have to hold it in place. <laughs> so it's a bit annoying. So I um, hope you all had good New Year celebrations. Did anyone do anything very exciting or did you just have parties at home or did you go out? Um, I didn't do anything. <laughs> we stayed at home and I actually fell asleep before midnight and then woke up again and then went back to sleep. <laughs> That was very quiet news for us. Hello, thanks for joining. Okay, <clears throat> so countable and uncountable. Um, these are confusing for most people, and and then when you get the hang of them, then you hear a new one that confuses you as well. So the explanation of accountable, uncountable is something that you can count. Uh, you know, one, two, three, four, and uncount, uncountable is something that you can't count. So, um, we usually talk about, often, if you look in your English books, people often use things like uh, food as examples of countable and uncountable. So, for example, you know, you can have five apples, um, but you can't say, can I have five milks, for example. So, <clears throat> it gets confusing because you can't say, you know, can I have five milks, but you can say, can I have five bottles of milk? So this is where the confusion comes with the, um, these types of nouns. So if you can sort of see the object and count them, then we're, they are countable. But when you have lots of tiny ones, like things like rice and pasta, we don't say five pastas or five rice. <coughs> we would say five bags of. So it's when you start to put these things that you can't individually count and you put them into containers as such, that's when they become countable. Okay? So, for example, um, if I was talking about liquids, liquids are always um, seen as, as uncountable. But when you put them into a bottle or into a cup, then they become countable. So you can't have five milks, but you can have five bottles of milk, of milk sorry, or, or uh, five glasses of milk. Okay, but then you don't put, <coughs> excuse me, you don't put them into the plural form, you put the container they are in into the plural form okay so there are some rules so if you have a countable noun uh, you can use them with a or an Okay, for one, so for example, you can use an apple and you can say a banana, okay, and you can use countables in plural form, okay. And then you could say, I don't know, uh, five apples, for example. But you could also say, uh, you could also say some apples, a few apples. Okay. And you use many with countable for a question. So how many apples? Okay. So you'd say, you can use a few, some and 
many. All right. So, for example, you could say, how many apples would you like? And you could reply, oh, a few. Or you could give a number. Okay. When you use uncountable, we don't use them in plural form. And you can't use them with a or an. So no plural form and don't use them with articles or with a or an. You can use it with the one. Okay. And you would use it with and you would use much instead of many. So you could say, for example, how much milk is there? Okay, so you say, say how much, but how many milk, and you would never say milks in plural form. And you could say, you could say there is some milk, but you couldn't say few. You don't use few with um, uncountable. So you could say there is, you could say there is some milk, or you could say a bit of milk. Um, okay, so there is, uh, there isn't, or there isn't much milk, so on, or a lot of, is the other one, or lots of, and you can use uh, a lot of and lots of with plural, uh, with countable as well, excuse me, getting confused, okay. Okay, so that's the, the main idea, but it gets very confusing. And it gets confusing as well because now people change things as well. So they sort of throw the rules. The rules have changed in something. So, for example, bread. Bread, you would think you can count because it's like a, uh, a thing. <laughs> a thing. So you, you would think it would be a countable noun, but it's not a countable noun. So bread alone is not a countable noun. And it makes it confusing. So you can't say, I would like breads or five five breads <clears throat> but you have to put it into a form so you have to say i would like five loaves of bread so a loaf of bread one loaf or two loaves over is the whole thing so you can only make it countable by talking about a loaf um, or a slice okay um or you say a piece or a bit of but you can't say um you can't use it in plural form so, for example, so this is where it gets confusing. So, bread is uncountable. Okay. But, a loaf of bread is countable. Or a slice of bread. So you say, so instead of saying I would like five breads, you'd say I'd like five loaves of bread. Okay. Or you could have slices. Okay, and this is the same <clears throat> with things like um, uh, meat, for example. So if you have, um, I don't know, a, um, a some beef, for example, <clears throat> you have to, you can't say I'll have five beefs. <laughs> you have to put it into some form. So like a joint of beef. Okay, so a joint of beef is like the whole thing, like the thing you, you roast, or a slice of beef, 
you have to put it into some kind of form to make it countable. Um, and the same with things like uh, pasta, rice, noodles. You, you wouldn't say I'll have five pastas. You'd say I'll have five bags of pasta. So pasta is uncountable. Pasta, rice, anything small like sugar, salt, all these things that are small that you wouldn't count individually, we say they're uncountable. But then when you put them into it's a container or a form, then they become countable. So we'd say for for pasta or rice, you'd say, um, you say for example, two bags of rice. Okay, but you can't say that right. We don't say normally that rice is countable. You can't use rice in the plural form, and the same with pasta. Um, and then with drinks, again, you put them into bottles or to glasses. Um, if you if you were to um, hear people in England asking for a coffee, for example, so coffee is uncountable, but people often say that they're going for a coffee, um, and then or they're going for a beer, and that then makes it countable because what they're talking about is having a cup of coffee or a pint of beer. It doesn't mean that the coffee or beer is now countable in its normal form. So, um, and what I really hate is people say they're having a wine and I don't know why. I don't mind people saying I'm having a beer, but I, I don't know what, I don't like it when they say I'm having a wine, but I don't know why. Um, so coffee is uncountable. In its normal form. So coffee is uncountable, but you can have so but if you said um you can have a cup or a mug of coffee of coffee. And then if you said, I'm going for a coffee, that would mean I'm, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. It doesn't mean that coffee is now in that countable form. What about yoghurt? Oh, yeah, yoghurt. <laughs> you can have, you can have um, a, a yoghurt, and if you have a yoghurt, it, um, it means it's in the pot. You know, like the individual ones? Um, yeah, so that's again yogurt and ice cream again are really confu are confusing in the same way. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll explain. So I'll just type this one up. Uh, it was, so if you say I'm going for a coffee, it means I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Yeah, so yogurt, <laughs> yogurt is uncountable. But if you say, I want a yoghurt, and then a yoghurt is, you know, when you get the small individual yoghurts in the pots, you know, like when you buy, I don't know, six of them, then um, that's a yoghurt. So yoghurt as the actual stuff <laughs> is uncountable, but a yoghurt is a pot of yoghurt. Oh, it's making me spell it the American way. That's better. Um, so yogurt is uncountable. As a rule, as a rule, yogurt is uncountable, but with an exception, uh, a yogurt means means one small pot. So you're counting the pot as the thing, not the actual yogurt. So you always look at it as within, as in with the um, the container that it's in. Uh, ice cream again. Ice cream is sort of as uncountable, but you can buy an ice cream, and an ice cream means like you know on a on a stick or in a cone. So it's the same thing. Ice cream uncountable, but then put it on a stick or put it in a on a cone, and then it's seen as countable. But then you can have an ice cream, 
means an individual ice cream on a stick or in a cone. So you can see where it gets very confusing. So if you were in um, if you were in a restaurant, for example, and you were ordering pudding, um, <clears throat> you would ask, and there was ice cream on the menu, you would say, I would like some ice cream, um, you know, or, or a bowl of ice cream, because that would be the ice cream, you know, as in when you get a, a tub of ice cream and you take it out, and then you would see as the actual thing, you would call it, you would just say some ice cream, I'm going to have ice cream or some ice cream. But if you say, I'm going to have an ice cream, then we think of it like it's the individual one that you buy. I don't know if you have them in Russia, but, you know, from the ice cream van or from a shop and you have it on a stick or in a cone. Um, and that's the same thing. Uh, chocolate, again, is confusing. So you would say uh, chocolate is sort of as uncountable. But um, when you talk about, um, so if you have, you can have a bar of chocolate, you know, like a, an individual bar that you buy from the shop. That's a bar of chocolate. Um, and then, but then you might say to somebody, if you had a big bar, you might say, would you like some chocolate? Or you could say, would you like a piece of chocolate? Would you break it off? Or if you ask somebody if they would like a chocolate, that means that if you've um, bought a box of chocolates with individual ones in it, then you can ask if you'd like a chocolate, because that means one of the chocolates from the box and they are all individual okay so then that is confusing um so just ask me any questions because i will forget other things with food um or if you have any questions on countable uh, other countable ones that you've thought of that you that you come across and you're not sure so <clears throat> other things that are confusing um money Money is uncountable, <coughs> excuse me, money is uncountable, but coins are obviously countable, or notes are countable, so, but money as a rule is uncountable. Uh, I might have to go. I might have to pause. I might have to go in a second, guys. My daughter isn't very well. She's just woken up. I might have to just pause and come back. Uh, there you go. I think I found that. Uh, work is uncountable, but jobs are countable. Bear with me, I'm going to have to just whiz and and just check on my daughter, I'm afraid, because she's woken up crying. Um, and I'm just going to have to go and check she's okay. Okay, so you can have five jobs, but you can have some work. One second, bear with me. I'm just going to have to shout downstairs and see if it's okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Is everything okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this one second because my daughter has woken up. She's not very well and she's really upset. I'm going to have to pause and come back to you in one second. So think of any questions that you have for me. Think of any nouns you're not sure about. And I'll be back. Sue, one sec. I'm sorry.